Bro oh, ball, brawl. Okay. That's Two brawl. brawl. That, that is brawl blood on the left there. And on the right, you got Nico and Zan. Oh, okay. D to D and uh, Inkling. Let's go. Okay, let's Ooh. get it. What a wild team making the top eight, though. Going Out on quite a run. Defending the house. All right, let's see what these teams are going to be able to do. Pokemon Stadium, of course, is the pick. So this is like two swords going up against uh, oh, oh, the team combos? Look at that. Anyone that up there? The problem with DDD and doubles and most heavies is they just get comboed like crazy. Dude. I'm not even the slightest bit surprised that ADHD is playing uh, is playing yeah. Like His character is just covered in Diddy hitboxes. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very similar play style for sure. ADHD is just a really smart player, has been for a long time, so we're going to see what he can do in this double. This is the first time we've seen him play Smash Ultimate, actually, so I'm pretty excited. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just imagine that Animus is gonna be the stock tank since he's playing one of the heaviest characters in the game. He is gonna get knocked around uh, probably more than an Inkling will, so that is one thing that uh, he has to look out for. But I mean, hey, you know, I mean, he is still one of the heaviest characters in the game, so I can at least imagine that that is their game plan. But we'll see what these guys are able to work out because whatever it is, so far it isn't working too uh, well too that well for them because uh, the red team is up a full stock, neither of them losing their first yet. Good grab right there, actually. Uh, from DVD, there you go. Air Slash on the way up. Okay. Edge guard situation. See, in that situation, like, Nico could have gone for the uh, double team on ADHD, but kind of opted to stay on DV, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely could have done that. He's just such a thick lad, so it's definitely a hard thing for him to be able to get around on, but we'll see what he, uh, we'll see how he's able to oh get around. Oh my god, the that. save. Did you see that? Yeah. That was amazing. The Air Slash save was so good, dude. I really like All right, man. All right, so. From New England, obviously, a region very much known for doubles. I'm impressed by SoCal right now. Like, that was amazing. Okay, Nico, he's got the sauce, you know what I'm saying? I'm impressed by SoCal. I am, dude. You see Korean Switlonger? Not that impressed by SoCal. They got stuff to work on, baby. That Switlonger was all out of love, my friend. I, dude, I love Korean. Like, he's so good. I hope he moves to New England just to uh, inspire some folks, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Shout out, shout out to Korean, dude. I love that guy. The future is an open book. But I'm not sure if this set is because both the red team has only lost one stock and the blue team is both down to their last one. Yeah, or at least this game, I should say, not this set. My apologies. Not, yeah, not looking great, but there you go. Up tilt. Maybe getting some action started here. But we have Nico and Shield Boat for a while now. Yeah, he's not going to die. It's, you know, the Monados and doubles, you got to be so aware. Nico has shown some amazing awareness so far. There you go, jump. Let's see what he does with it. That's the other thing is the other team has to pay so much attention to Shulk as well. I mean, I know he announces, you know, what he's changing to, but still, man, you got to be aware. You're going to you're gonna eat, like, an F-Till or forward throw with the Smash Monado on it. It's going to it's gonna suck for you, basically. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to be a rough one for this guy right now. I mean, especially right now. I mean, Shulk, you know, a lot of the buffs he received in this game is that he's just able to get those Monados, like, immediately out of hit stun. So, you know, while you're combo him and then all of a sudden you think you're gonna get the kill confirmed that F tilt takes that AHG's final stock. Smash is, oh oh wait what I feel like that should have been it. Almost actually almost KOing Nico. Yeah Zan uh, definitely tried to uh, spike him right there. The young cookie slayer. That's the right. artist formerly known as Zan. Right. And up air not gonna do it. DDD is too heavy of a lad but that time will Ow. that Ow, is dude. not yo he just stabbed him with a sun dog shine. That hurt me dude like that that felt painful God. The, the best part is that we're gonna see a replay of that in slow motion. Are you ready for that? This is America's funniest home videos. Are you ready? Can you got sound effects, bro? Here you do. Play the Captain Falcon. Dude, that, that is that is ridiculous. Get it? That's the joke of every American funniest home videos. He got hit in the crotch. <laughs> wow. He actually got hit more in that butt. He got he got hit more in the keister. It wasn't good. Have we seen it? This is like the fourth time. Definitely got hit more in the keister. I like the the tag too. Is uh, someone help? None of that happens. Adam is such a sense of humor on this man. He does it in his tags. Normally his tag is something much more inappropriate, like I consume derriere, you know, okay, stuff like that. Enough. And that's the not even esports right version his, of what his that derriere is. got consumed. So moving on. I mean, DDD's derriere takes up half the stage. It's hard for it to not get con to True. not be consumed. You know, he can be a stock tank in dubs, but I mean, DDD's one of the biggest characters in the game. You know, he's just gonna get knocked around like it's a bar mitzvah, dude. It's rough. Wait, what does that mean? I've never had a bar mitzvah. Can you explain? Well, the, one of the, uh, I'm, not, I'm not Jewish, so but like one Wait of the one of the traditions of a bar mitzvah is that they lift, you know, like the guy whose bar mitzvah it is up on a chair, and they like they take the chair, they lift him while he's in, and they go da 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 like that. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. All right, man. We're gonna get here uh, into this game too. Pretty even so far. Going to the stadium. See what Blue Team can do with it. Yeah, so far a lot of damage on all of these players, except for Nico right now. Using that speed Monado to outmaneuver and outpace the danger right now. Dancing around, Ooh. using that forward air to get him off. I think he retreated because, no, that's Inkling. Nah, he definitely didn't think he was dead right there, but he just wanted to join his uh, teammate. Oh my god. And taking out the DDD, but the back air. 
Jump's going to be able to even out the game immediately. Nice. Do you see the awareness there uh, from DDD jumping away from the Smash Monado? Very good stuff. Here we go. Deek on his way back up. Team combo, maybe? Okay, back air. Okay, I was going to say Nair would be a great option there. Yeah, good, not laggy away. enough to be able to make it back. Plus the reverse hitbox of it to be able to hit his, uh, to be able to hit uh, ADHD off. It was there was definitely a very good choice right there. And Nico still sitting at a relatively comfy percent. This isn't necessarily kill percent unless he gets hit by something really hard. And how is he going to get hit by something really hard? He's got the speed Monado on right now. He's the fastest character in the game. It's a little Crazy. rough to be able to do that. And DDD, kind of the slowest character in the game, at least at the very least in airspeed. I believe he still has the worst airspeed in the game oh. out of all the characters. So how the hell is DDD going to be able to catch up with that? I don't know. That's going to be ADHD's job to be able to do that with his hitboxes as he is able to do it on uh, Zan right there. So this is the thing too is like I feel like uh, Shulk is just like a utility player doubles. Like he could be your soft tank. You know he's got the steel Monado. He's got a good recovery. Like he can kind of chill, kind of create some space around himself and live yeah. for a while. But he's also got the Smash Monado and Buster to deal damage and knock back respectively. So yeah, man, he could be your stock tank, your angle, your doable. He could be your everything. You know. Yeah. And actually, tied in terms of stocks, I mean, we see Zan. He's not super healthy. There you go. Air slash clear on that one out. Looking for the down air. Good patience by ADHD. I would have got scared and I would have got hit by something, that's for sure. Yo, ADHD, yeah. that yeah. was sick. That was Greninja esque. You know that was saying? very Greninja esque. Going down and hitting him with the uh, opening hitbox of the Inkling Uppy right there, which only has a hitbox at the start and the end of it once Inkling splashes back down on the stage. Very good. Good knowledge from ADHD utilizing that. That was a, that was a pretty smart edge guard, if I do say so myself. Oh, and that was uh, a not intelligent SD. You know what, though? Like. <laughs> Yeah, I would like to see more intelligent SDs, you know, out of these players. You know yeah, the kind where like you know you suicide your opponent, but then your opponent doesn't die, but like at least you tried. Yeah, that's an intelligent SD. But the thing, ADHD, that stock was pretty much ready to go anyway. It was only like 130 on the edge, so it's not yeah, a big yeah, deal. Not a big sure. deal really. Yeah, hopefully it won't be too detrimental for the blue team right now here in losers top eight. So that's Diddy Kong. Okay. You're Diddy Kong. You're literally Diddy Kong. That's and the taunt for me coming out. From ADHD, wow. And all of a sudden, virtually evening this game out. Actually, yeah, evening this game out. Because look at DDD. And uh, DDD and Young Link at relatively similar percents, but one of them is DDD, and the DDD is dead. Never mind making me eat my words. All of a sudden, it's uh, left to ADHD to be able to win this game back. That's the truly crazy yeah. thing about Shulk, right? Because, like, normally when, you know, you think about Shulk, you're like, okay, when he switches to an offensive this or not, like, a, a, an offensive art, I'm going to try to hit him instead. You know, like it becomes like a dire situation in terms of neutral. Like, you don't want to get hit when he's a buster in Smash, but you want to hit him like super bad. The thing right there that Nico does so well and that Shulks are doing so well is when they throw you off stage and toss you at a disadvantage, he's he's in the driver's seat. So it's a really good idea to switch to Smash Monado, clear, clear out the stock. Nice up air there from Nico in order to move on. Very, very good stuff. But you know what? Zan had the clutch play though, uh, clearing out DDD stock. Yeah. But all of a sudden, Team SoCal. Up 2-0 over the Joyzy boys. I'm telling you, they, uh, like I, I really like the doubles these guys are playing. Uh, Zan had a really nice recovery, which resulted in a rage KO on DDD, which was really, really good. And Nico's awareness has just impressed me throughout this entire set. So I really feel like, you know, was it blue team? Yeah, they're blue. Blue team needs to dig deep uh, in order to bring back his game three. But we're going to see what they can come up with. Uh, I feel like we're going to be going to smash up. Uh, all right, there you go, all right. Wait, I mean, wait, wait, I mean, wait, 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 wait. It was a 50-50. You had like one or two choices there. Sure. <laughs> wait a second. Double matter? inkling. Double inkling, man. Oh, That's ew. What the matter is. Oh, this is about to get confusing. That's the crazy thing about Soul too. Like, he can literally lose neutral, activate Shield Monado, and then punish you for hitting him. It's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. It's a very unique mechanic, basically. Yeah, it, that's really, like, the mark of, like, how, like, you uh, know how to fight Shulk. It's your knowledge. It's your knowledge of your combo game, you know, like, what you can do or what you should do whenever you Shield Monado's out of your combos. Like, how you should play when, like, he's in, like, a Jump Monado or a Speed Monado, one of the mobile ones, whatever. It's all about, like, knowing what your character can do in, like, those certain situations. Like, you already see Zen, you, like, up throw, like, try to down air hit, like, him like, with Mario, like, and he busts the Shield Monado, and then just dashes back in and regrab. Yeah, that forward smash is super duper strong, so. Good stuff. Red team off to another strong lead here. See if they can do it. A lot of parries coming up for the red team, too. Definitely showing some proficiency uh, against Inklings. Hold on. Okay. ADHD looking for the follow up up there. Did not catch it, though. Off. And Inkling oh, no. almost kills his teammate with that forward smash right there. Sort of a raw one, putting himself through. But yeah, fortunately for him, uh, Adamus did not die. I like the uh, use the jump Monado, and then you bypass the ledge in order to get the air slash on the opposite side. Super smart. Oh, yeah. Joke's been doing that for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. 
Okay, Speed Monado coming in. Oh, that was so unfortunate that he's able to make it back. Never mind, this is Inkling we're talking about. Yeah, Inkling was just a nasty, nasty recovery. Uh, able to go super deep as we see ADHD do it. In that game two, Murray went all the way off with all those pairs. Nice. Yeah. All but, of a sudden, the stock counts are even. Yeah, but the red team has like a really good amount of power. Like Between young links like aerials, like forward air and up air have been really powerful. Not only that, but obviously Shulk on the other side. If he's up to that, that red aura, it's going to be trouble. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, and like I said, you know, the stocks are even, but absolutely by no means the percent. Both uh, the Team Inkling is definitely struggling right now with relatively high ones right now. We'll see how the red team is going to be able to uh, take out these stocks. If uh, the blue team is not able to adapt and quickly do it at all, but the Nair to that, I think uh, Shulk Nair on his own right there, able to quickly do it, and the red team so in sync right now, getting that stage control, knocking each Inkling off the stage. And that one off of the level as well. I don't know, Has this is looking pretty rough for a blue team right now. That was really well played by Nico again. Having the smash uh, are activated. But then, like, ADHD dropped up the platform, tried to apply some pressure to him. Hold on. Uh, he's got a bomb. Yep. Yeah, he does. Nico looking to save, but no, ADHD trying to deny him. But either way, Zan able to make it back. Very nice stuff from the Young Link. Right. Young Link is buried. Not a stock, he actually only hits him with the scooping hitbox of the up smash how, ADHD. How did Zan live through 186 on smash mode? That's absolutely nuts. He only hit him with the, uh, what do you call it, with the uh, first hit of the up smash, the scooping hitbox of Ingrid's up smash, which is actually relatively weak. It's supposed to just be the setup one, and all of a sudden, ADHD by himself, stuck on Smashville, between a, between a British and a young place. That's true. Hold up. Uh, okay. They're like, you know, in order to be good at a 2v1, you either have to have, like, incredibly good frame data or some sort of, like, buddy system, like, snakes. Oh, God. Nico, seriously? Okay, yeah, he's totally fine, too. Deep, deep he, was right not, he was not even close to running out of resources, too. Like, he definitely could have gone. I feel like for another one, that's it. Stop. Nice, nice. That's sick. And he made it back to the ledge. Yeah. Very nice job. Those uh, SoCal boys going off stage a whole lot with their swords. I like this. It was sick. <laughs> Shulk is such a nerd, dude. <laughs> he's such a dork. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. heck? Definitely like way up there on like the Smash Ultimate like nerd tier list for sure. Yeah, oh, that's got to be one that somebody has to make. I'm okay, let's do it. Yeah, the Olimar, only the only one that Olimar's the biggest nerd. Oh, Alf, and then Olimar. I'd say my tier list that I made, but like mine's not exactly for 